Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to make a desk research. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, a desk research is an understanding tool. It got the following characteristic. It is use of external sources, documents to support their point of view or argument of an academic work. This documentary research process often involves some of all the conceptualization, employment, and document or evaluation. It is essentially to understand that you need to find different sources to support your research. That could be reached through books, magazines, newspapers, memories, yearbooks, records, codices, constitutions, etc. This traditional resource is very useful in a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology in the empathy stage, which basically allows you to know what has been done previously and how it was made. So the desk research is extremely important because it really allows you to understand what has been done before what you want to intend to do. So that is really helpful and also really allowed you to understand in a better way the problem. Sometimes in this stage, you realize that it's not worth doing what you are going to do because there are so many things and there's no innovation. However, that could be a little bit ambiguous. Okay, before I start explaining everything, if you like what we do, please subscribe to our channel, uh, give us a like, turn on the bell. If you wanna give us a thank you, also more than welcome. So when we start making a uh, desk research, the first thing that we need to know is define our objective. What do we want to know? And the idea here is that you write an objective that basically summarize which is the problem that you want to research, the information, uh, where, how, everything. Uh, if the objective is more specific, it will really help you a lot during the process. After you define the objective of what do you want to um, reach with the desk uh, research, you will start looking for sources. And depending on the kind of project that you are going to, to be developing, it could be many. It could be books, it could be magazines, newspapers, memories, yearbooks. Uh, databases, codices, constitutions, videos, documentaries. It really up of what are you going to do and what can you find. One recommendation here is that uh, sometimes when you are really lost in this uh, part of the process, I strongly recommend you to go to the library. A lot of librarians know a lot of uh, which uh, books or which kind of sources could help you. So that could be a really good way to start your, your research. Or if you are developing an academic uh, work, uh, ask your professor because he can really guide you through that. After that, after you start researching and, and know what to do, you have to start recollecting the information. And that is something very important because not all the sources are good, not all the information that you are going to collect is, is good. So you start to classify that information to see what could be helpful, what could not, or other kind of a um, process of qualification of that. After that, when you pick up the information that you think it will work, you start analyzing. And analyzing is extremely important because basically uh, allow you to how to do it. Okay, I'm gonna start analyzing. Uh, you could write notes, you could see what is important. Also always remember, and I always tell this to my, uh, to my students is write the sources because the bibliography is extremely important and you need to know that when you are writing the document. If you make a review, that could be very helpful. Always remember how to quote is extremely important so you don't have any plagiarism problems in the future when you are developing your program. After you analyze, you start putting in place, you start uh, writing the document, how to use it. And the idea here is to analyze the information to see 
which are the inside, how can you apply that in the project? Uh, you could maybe find something that you didn't know that you could that that you think that is very uh, important and reliable. So that could really help you a lot in understanding this process. It will really allow you to uh, put together everything in line, and that will help you a lot. So what was it for the different kind of insights that we will have? The idea here is that all the desk research support your thesis in your project support um, the problem or the insight that you want to uh, work with. As a conclusion, um, we can say that documentary research is a good way to start a project, answers and allows to know what has been done before and where. However, to achieve real empathy with needs and understanding of a project, I recommend that you recollect information firsthand talking with users. However, um, this situation is not always possible because um, depending on the kind of project, if you are making a philosophical thesis, that will be really hard. But if you want to develop this uh, with user-centered design of the kind of project, maybe it could really help you. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media. Remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish and every Thursday we have a new video in English. Uh, our Udemy courses are already available. In the description of this video, you can find the link. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.